So here goes the Bride of Christ um, ministry to myself and anyone else in Christ. Um, contrary to popular opinion, <laughs> um, the Bridegroom, we're in the last few verses of uh, Revelation, he says the Spirit and the Bride say, uh, Come Lord Jesus. Um, it really... It, exposes or uh, really shows us really that the Lord, the bridegroom, um, the one that we long to be with and to see, um, isn't coming back for a, a denomination or an organisation or a little church um, down the road or whatever else we see served up in Christianity. Um, he's coming back for one thing, and that's his uh, bride, his Shulamite woman, if you like. Um, I, I, I really believe if we was to read and go into the Song of Songs, um, that would really, I think, prepare us, or at least um, help us to understand really what it is that the Lord longs for from us and what we should long after. Um, which is himself, not things, not um, anything but himself. Really the truth of the matter and the simplicity of it always is that it's Christ versus everything. Whatever is in your life or around it, it's, it's that. And um, he longs to be who he is in our lives, which is Christ our all in all. And um, how that gets fulfilled in our lives um, is a journey that it seems that very few um, have chose to, to, to partake of or, or go on. Um, it's the narrow way, it's the high way of holiness, it's Christ himself. Um, and I always just think um, there was a reason why the Lord Jesus said that um, whenever this gospel, this good news is preached, what Mary did when she anointed him, would be spoken about and the good news is that yes he has reconciled us he's brought us into his kingdom of, of righteousness peace and joy in his spirit and that is it, it is it is a spiritual um reality it is a spiritual kingdom um it's not what we see that matters because everything that we see is temporary from the bodies we live in and, and to everything around us, it's all temporary, it's of this earth, but um, the last Adam, um, he, he, he is of the spirit and um, he's building a spiritual kingdom, a spiritual household, a spiritual family, a spiritual body, a spiritual church, um, a spiritual um army hallelujah um a spiritual bride um that we can all be partakers of when we partake of him how do we become um the bride how do we become lovers how do we um become what he has called and created us to be um we become what he has called us to be by being one with him and how do we become one with him like anything else when you make love that's when you become one with the person that you're making love with and what does it really mean to make love it means to give oneself over unreservedly unconditionally completely and utterly onto the other one that you choose to become one with and it's a process. It's 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 um, a relationship. It's a completely um, breaking down um, the walls and the barriers that we build up. It's a completely um, pushing aside all our preconceived ideas and um, vain imaginations or presumptions um, of what it is that um, and who he is is meant who he is. I knew he's meant to be. Um, that's my wife uh, calling me to pick her up. I'm going to answer this. 
Hello, babe. Um, I'm talking to you. Um, <laughs> what was I doing before I was talking to you? Um, I was talking to the bride of Christ. Okay. Are you talking to me or talking to somebody else? Okay. 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 Um, yeah, so, go on, babe. There was a reason why you called. Back to where? All right, do you want to come back in and then we go there? All right then, babe, I'll see you soon. Where are you now? Okay. All right then, sweetheart. I'll see you soon. All right then, babe. All right, bye. So, um, I, f I think maybe there was a reason for that. Um, yeah. Don't get distracted. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, someone said once that, and I believe it to be true, that the kingdom of the devil, Satan, is the kingdom of distraction. Um, there's good distractions, as it were. Um, we can be caught up in the world and the Lord would draw us away to himself. But there's other things that would draw us away from the Lord. I think uh, one of the verses of Songs of Somni says, um, other people's vines or my family's vines or, my, you know, uh, I've, I've, I've sort of ministered to, I've, I've, I've looked after, but I've neglected my own. But he, he, he's, this uh, man of God, he said, um, it was John G. Lake, I believe, that said it. He said, um, but the kingdom of God is the kingdom of being. And really, I, I don't know how much um, Shakespeare understood when he said it, but I believe it to be the reality of all and the sum total of what Christ came to do when he died on the cross and, and he, he, he went to the grave and he rose again on the third day. And that was to give us the love and the security to stand up in this world and to say, yeah, this is who I am. And we won't fit in and we choose not to fit in because we won't and we don't. Um, but he loves me. And as long as he loves me, it doesn't matter who doesn't. And as long as we please him, it doesn't matter who we displease. Jesus Christ gives us the love and the security to be what God called us and created us to be because we know that he has loved us and he's come and given us an understanding that we belong to him and heaven is our own. We came from him and we're going to return to him and he's all that we've got and there's nothing else that we need. And when the church, the body, the bride comes to that reality, then we will become what God called and created us to be in his son before the foundations of the world. And this and only this will the gates of hell will not be able to prevail against and everything else is wood, a and stubble. And he ends my little uh, to Bob's worth for now but watch this space